Welcome to my channel. My fifth requested reaction is uh, a repeat performance. Elliot Tordo playing the Urhu. And the name of the song is The Last Samurai. OST Suite Number One. No idea what that means. But we've seen him play the Urhu before and it's a, it's a it's an instrument with a fascinating configuration and a haunting sound. And I'm looking forward to hearing it because I like the last one that we did. So I'm sure that this one will be good as well. Before we get into that, though, I want to thank you for your support and for your requests. Like this one, like the many that you give me. Um... I get introduced to new artists all the time. I get introduced to new groups. I get introduced to new music. It's incredible. And I just have to be honest with you. I love this. I really, really love this. I enjoy doing this so much because of the variety of music that I get to hear. And the things that you've introduced me to. It's incredible. So thank you. Don't forget, I always put the artist's links in the description so you can support them as well. And also put the link to the request form so you can request a reaction if you want one. Don't forget to make the request there because I don't take requests from the comments. So this is Elliot Tordo playing the Urhu with a cover of The Last Samurai OST Suite Number 1 by Hans Zimmer.
That is such a unique instrument, and I have got to look something up because it's driving me crazy. Just a second here. i got to go to Wikipedia and look up Elliot Tordo because I have to be honest with you. Um, oh my goodness, he's not on Wikipedia? Did I spell it wrong? No. You're kidding me. So, here's what I was thinking. This is clearly an Asian music uh, instrument, right? Ah, uh, here we go. Frenchman Elliot Tordo's viral cover of Japanese melody. Okay. So, <laughs> here is this guy who's French playing an Asian instrument. It's just so... Uh, <laughs> It's so strange to me. It really is. I would expect to see an Asian playing it uh, because it's clearly an Asian instrument. The, the Asian instruments all seem to have this really um, haunting sound to them. It's very, very different from the, the uh, things like violins and cellos and that sort of stuff. Uh, guitars, whatever you want, you know, whatever kind of string instrument, ukuleles that you want to think about. Um, these are, these are different. The, the instruments that they, you know, and I can't remember the names of those things. I think it's called the Dombra that, uh, uh, Dimash uses in some of his songs. And then there's another one that starts with a T. I can't remember the name of, but they're all, they all have this kind of, uh, uh, well, haunting or wailing sound to them. That's, that's quite different from western music and very fascinating and very captivating as well it, it kind of draws you in i like it it's 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 a different sound than what i'm used to but it's it's a sound that that is it tickles my ears how's that tickles my ears i like it uh, so i enjoy listening to him doing that anyway enough of me rambling on uh, I pray for every person that comes to my channel that God will watch over you and keep you healthy and that you will have a long life. And I pray that for every person that you love as well. This is the Vietnam era vet out.